Hello everyone and welcome back. In this episode here, um, not quite a garage series or anything, but uh, uh, I got me this uh, safe with this coupon here. And here it is. Here's what the box looks like. So I'm going to unbox it and uh, I'm planning to put it right, right there at that corner. I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way. Yeah, uh, my dresser right here. So I'm going to put it right here in this corner so people can't quite see it. Um, kind of hidden out of view. But anyways, here it is. Um, 1.51 cubic feet. That's supposed to be what it looks like. Um, read some of the reviews on this. It seems like it's not, you know, great. Of course, you know, a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight's not great, but uh, for the price uh, that you would pay for it, um, it is a pretty good uh, deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. Uh, just flipping around, see if uh, you guys just want to see what it looks like. But uh, all right, let's let's get this done. I'm gonna cut in and cut out. Um, for the, all of, all of you guys who are coming back, y'all know what to do. Anybody new? Um, you know, if this is too long. Uh, just feel free to skip through, um, other than my cut in and cut out of the video where I just start and stop and start. I don't do any editing here. Uh, it's pretty much all, all, you know, uh, done in, um, I guess almost live but recorded. Anyways, uh, let me cut out and I'll, I'll cut back in when I open it up a little bit. Alright everyone, I'm cutting back in and uh, I uh, usually just tilt the tilt it on the side, cut the the taping on the bottom, and then uh, cut the taping on the top. So I can uh, simply just tilt it right, you know, right back up, and just simply pull. Because uh, one of the reasons I I would do that is because uh, this thing is pretty heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's it's up there in, in weight. In fact, I don't know if it gives you approximate weight here. I don't know, but if I would say it's about 70 to 50 to 75 pounds. But um, I don't know how fast or how far you can uh, run with 50 or 70 pounds with you, and how long you'd be willing to lug that thing around. Um, according to the pictures here. Um, looks like there is some some wheels or some kind of casters, um, which I don't see. Here's your, I don't know if you can see that, uh, I need a flashlight. There we go. Um, of course, uh, let's do this. Here we go. Free flashlight, everyone. So, there it is. There's some holes if you want to mount it to the uh, wall. There's some right there, but uh, that's where you mount the uh, supposed casters. So this is the front side. Let's see if there's any damage to this thing uh, whatsoever. Uh, okay. All right. So that's what it looks like. Looks just like the picture for the most part. There's some keys here. I wonder if these are generic keys. Like I see these keys so often. That I think that uh, all these saves are key to like. There's no unique key. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Let's just tear that off. Put that up there on top for now. So there's the keys, and you know they look like your generic uh, security kind of lock key. Um, hopefully they're numbered um, very similar to the um, key of uh, the uh, 31 inch cabinet the little rolling cabinet um, the the cheapy one the one I did a video on uh, they all have numbered key specifically for that I'm, I'm hoping that that's the same for for this anyways um, Okay, I, I don't know how to operate it, but uh, I think there's a, this right here, it's where you, uh, 
I don't have all my tools with me, so I gotta do this the hard way, bare hand. Let me see here. Well, that's pretty much just a, a cover. It was a little bit of struggle. I wasn't sure how it worked, but the, there's a little whatever that is here, top and bottom, where uh, these can go in. You just have to gently play with it. But there's a looks like there's a, a number here it corresponds to probably like a, a key number. Hopefully, y'all didn't see that. But uh, one of the reasons why I'm gonna and get this gun. It's, I mean, um, I got the safe is because I, I do own a gun, and um, I don't have a, a, a safe right now. Unfortunately, I got a newborn that is very curious about everything. So here's the manual. If everything else fails, no power. I, I believe the key is will open everything. So let's find out. a little while but it's a little tricky all right so uh, here's the inside of the safe it's got one two maybe three three bolts let me see if I can show it to you here's one two three um, I don't know much about safe so um, but if this can just handle looks like that's uh, where I put the batteries um, but if, if it can just handle Something and it looks like uh, this part's looks like this part right there is a little bit, but I think I can fix that. Uh, this stuff moving around in here uh, kind of doesn't help. Like this is you got your casters, some the shelves in here moving around. They probably ding up a little bit here and there as it gets moved. So, all right, that's the inside and everything. Let me uh, cut out and prepare everything, and uh, I'll cut back in. Um, I'm coming back here and I'm putting on the uh, the casters and um, there's no really good uh, directions per se. It seems like there's a cotter pin. So here, here you, you get this. You got the I guess the rod and you got a bag of casters. Or they feel like um, sorry if you can't see this in the, in the lighting here. They feel like um, plastic hard plastic but they're not metal or anything you got the uh, I guess rod and then you got a cutter pin and a washer and I think the assembly would be something like this here something like that but in reality, this is it would look more like this, and then on the other side, uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see there. There we go. Now I'm not sure if it'd be better to have the uh, washer on the inside or on the outside, but I figure it's there to prevent uh, this thing from pulling, going up. So. Um, I'll just leave it like that for now. Anyways, uh, that's the update, and I'm going to just, um, when I get that cotter pin in there, which I have right there, let me see here, uh, yeah, right there, uh, I got the cotter pin in there, and so uh, I just need to uh, twist it so it doesn't come out, and I'll do that to the rest of them. So, looks like you'll need some tools, or some sort of tools, to, to get this done. So let me cut out and finish all that, and I'll work on to uh, the shelves. All right, everyone, I'm back and uh, cutting in. I just want to kind of show you that all four of these. They're really simple. 
You, just, you don't have to bend them in any special way as long as they're bent and they don't come out. And that should get it going. So let's, uh, let's turn this thing up. Oh, boy. Okay, it, uh, it moves easier. It's better than lifting or dragging this thing because it, it, it is heavy. All right, excellent. So that only leaves the, uh, okay, that only leaves the shell, or the shelves in here. So, uh, I'll get that going and, uh, let me, uh, cut out and cut in. All right, uh, I'm cutting back in. I just want to show you, uh, there's an extra bag here and they come with different, uh, these are for, I guess, to mount, uh, floor mount or a concrete or a wall mount um, so that's what these are for these are little mounts that you can um, go out through the back of that little hole here on the bottom um, these are little clips here and that's what I was looking for these clips here will go on to these little slots and then that way you can put your shelf in there somewhere so um, let me see if I can just try to figure out where one would go I'm just gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> let me let me cut out and use both my hands here. I'll cut back in. All right, there. Uh, I'm gonna cut in here and um, put in this uh, put a little section here. And I was doing the the shelves and everything, but um, I was reading the manual and uh, there are batteries in here, so um, it's ready to go. Um, at first, if you read the directions here, it says right there. 159A. So 159A is the code to open it. So oh, sorry, I already opened it and I already changed the uh, code, but uh, let me see here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so 159 is the code and it opens. You turn this turn this and you should be able to oh, okay I'm gonna put in my code in. I'll put in my code in again I'll, um, I'll change it and you only got five seconds to to do that and then it releases the bolt so uh, the way you change it is uh, inside here there's this little red button you push that button and it'll beep like that, and then now you can set your your code to whatever it is. I was I was just playing around with it, but something lame. And you got to push either an A or a B on one side or the other. So I'll just push B. And once you do that, the light here goes off, and it's ready. Um, Once that, once once you turn this knob, once you turn that knob to, to this way, um, even though you turn it the other way now, it doesn't it doesn't turn. So you have to push in the code, and it always ends with with an A or a B on the other side. You got five seconds. You should turn it this way. Ah, there goes my five seconds. Nope. There we go. Five seconds to do that, and then that's how it opens. Uh, what you're really doing is, it's once this locks, even though you turn this, either way, it doesn't it doesn't work without the code, which I will do here. So you see the lock. It doesn't won't go in. So I got to put the code in. There's always the manual key right here, but let me see. go. You turn this one this and then there we go. So 
so now you're able to open and close as long as this is turned, you know, in this position, like this. But once you close this and engage the top, like here, and then this turns, that's it. And even if you turn it back, it won't let you turn it back. you got to re-enter the code. So, um... There it is. Turn it. And so it's released, closed. Turn that one more time. Can't turn it back. There you go. I'm just gonna put the cover back on and, and we're done. So that's kind of what I wanted to show. Um, so it does. It's ready and uh, there we go. Batteries uh, go right here. I will just leave the tape on it. Obviously, there is batteries here. Like I said, the reset buttons on the other side here. So, uh, if anything else fails, um, always have your. Oh, where are my keys? No. Always have your keys with you, just in case it doesn't work. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the put the cover, put this cover back on, and we're done. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome back. I uh, got the shelf done here, and you can see I put it up a little high, um, because I'm just going to um, use whatever the room I have, but, you know, it's not too bad, it kind of, you know, goes in something like, like that. Uh, this piece right here is just a little felt, so it's kind of bent up from moving around. Uh, the thing about these clips is they, they um, come a little bit wider, it's good to have like little pliers like this and then set them in and grab and squeeze them so they, you know, um, so the bottom clip can be, uh, can go into the bottom area right here and the top clip. So you slip it in and you squeeze and it eventually will slip in. But, uh, and another thing is the way these are shaped, you want the top side to be flat bottom to be kind of curved in like that and so as you squeeze on the pliers it'll, you want to make sure that you get in between these two holes the two slots and once they slip in they just they don't come out you basically have to uh, uh, squeeze them out with your pliers squeeze them you know squeeze them and then lift up and pull out but pretty much they kind of bend outwards so that's it right there and uh, that's in there. Uh, the safe is not too bad. I mean, uh, if you all want to get a comparison, you know, this is uh, my drawer dresser. It's, uh, let me see, it's, it's got one, two, three, you know, four. Your normal, you know, typical dresser size. Um, so anyways, I'll roll it up right next to it. And give you a comparison. I'll give you an idea of the size of this, if that helps. I don't know if that helps you guys a little bit at all. Maybe, maybe not. I know it's kind of, kind of dark, but that gives you an idea of the size. I mean, it's not that big. This is my foot. Um, this is an 11 and a half shoe, so if you want to get a good idea of what. How big it is but uh, anyways it's gonna go in that little this corner right here somewhere so that's just where I'm gonna put it so that concludes this episode and uh, I'll probably put my my gun in there it's probably the first thing I'm gonna do and some other you know things it's big enough for you know it's big enough for a gun let me see here it's big enough for a gun and definitely um, Maybe two handguns, uh, ammo, paper, a little bit of money, and any other valuable papers you might have. Although, uh, there's these holes right there. That's what bother bothers me. There's these holes right there. And, you know, I don't know how fireproof this is, but we'll see. Uh, I still got all these here. So if I wanted to mount them on the wall, um, I'm not sure how they, how they exactly work. 
but uh, there's uh, it's good to know I have an option to do that. I'll leave that in there. So anyway, this concludes this episode here on the uh, 1.5 cubic feet uh, capacity of uh, the um, was it a Western uh, Bunker Hill uh, digital safe. So um, you know this is probably the end of the episode here. Uh, anyone want to comment? Feel free to do that. Um, like, dislike, or even do a video response. So uh, if I ever um, anything happens and someone tries to break into the safe, we'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. But for, so far, it's I think it's I don't know. It's cheap. It's worth it. It's a safe, and so uh, you know I'm, I'll make do with what it, what it is. So thanks a lot. And until then, um, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye now.